Thank you for joining us to the webinar. It will be starting shortly. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, depending upon where you are joining us from. Welcome to today's webinar on revolutionizing short content, short video secrets. My name is Shivashish, and I'll be your host for this insightful session today. Now, before we get started, let me give you all a quick overview of movie. Established in 2011 and headquartered in the USA, movie was founded with a vision to disrupt the global streaming market. Movie offers a diverse range of streaming products that cater to businesses of all shapes and sizes. Whether you are a small business or a large enterprise, our scalable and flexible streaming product portfolio can adapt to meet any streaming requirement. From comprehensive OTT platforms to fast channels, from on-demand streaming to live streaming, from audio streaming to video streaming, and from deploying websites to apps for mobile and TV ecosystems across 16 plus platforms, Movie has a solution for all your streaming needs that can be accomplished with just a few clicks without the need for any coding knowledge. Our flagship product, Movie One, has been rated as the number one OTT platform on G2. Additionally, our live streaming product, Movie Live, was honored as the best live streaming product of 2022 by the readers of the streaming media magazine. So whether you are a content creator, a media company, or a business venturing into the streaming space, our goal is to empower you with the tools and expertise needed to thrive in this competitive industry. If you are interested in learning more about movie and how our streaming solutions can benefit your business, please don't hesitate to reach out to us. Now, coming back to the topic for today, in the ever-evolving digital landscape, user engagement is the key metric for success. With the emergence of short-form platforms like TikTok, Instagram Reels, and Netflix Laughs, capturing user attention has become increasingly important. Movie Minis, a re revolutionary feature, empowers content creators and businesses to develop to deliver an immersive and captivating experience similar to these popular platforms. And to help you leverage the best out of Movie Minis, we have with us Siddharth, who is a part of Movie's product management division as a front, front end product manager and is responsible for enhancing the UI UX of the products which involve website, mobile and TV applications. His expertise lies with the OTT, low code website development tools, AR, VR and IoT domains. With experience in addressing products under different hackathons, Siddharth is a passionate product manager who loves to take initiative in times of crisis. Welcome to the webinar, Siddharth, and over to you. And before we get started, uh, for all our viewers, you can keep posting your queries in the comment section, and Siddharth will answer all of them towards the end of his presentation. Over to you, Siddharth. Well, thanks, Shivashish, for this warm welcome. And Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to everyone. Uh, like for taking out your valuable time and joining this webinar on short videos, the secrets. Now, before we start with this, uh, in like this particular webinar, uh, we have a surprise for you at Movie. So all I want you is to take a free trial and build an app using one of our flagship feature known as Try Your Apps. So all you have to do is take a free trial going down to movie.com. Uh, once you logged in into your CMS, you'll see something known as app dashboard. There you'll have a CTA known as try your apps and just build your application because as I said, uh, we have a surprise for you at the end. 
Now, very simple four steps to build your application. Take a free trial. I've already said you try your apps. Uh, so try your apps will be available under app dashboard. Then you have a basic form uh, as in maybe three to three details. All you have to do is give your splash screen, your app name and your app launch icon and click on build and then sit back and relax and we'll send you your own branded white labeled application in less than five minutes to your uh, registered email ID. Now coming down to today's topic that is short videos. So we'll be talking on some basic fundamentals behind short videos. Like what exactly short videos? Now the power of short videos and what is the current industry trend uh, per in periphery of short videos? Then what is its exact impact? Then as Sivashish already said that we have a solution known as movie minis. So I'll be telling you how exactly you can leverage minis for better user engagement. And then we'll obviously have this forum open for any of your queries or suggestions. Now talking about short videos, right? Now, as we all know that in today's fast paced digital world, capturing and retaining audience attention has actually become increasingly challenging. Now, as attention span continue to decrease, business content creator, all of them are turning towards short videos as a powerful means of communication. Now we're talking about short videos. Now, what exactly is short videos? So short videos are concise, engaging, and impactful snippets of content that delivers message effectively within a limited time frame. Uh, they can cut through noise, deliver key messages, making them ideal for capturing attention, promoting products or services, sharing tutorials, or telling a compelling brand stories for any brand. Now, short videos also allow for a creative experimentation that we don't get with uh, traditional marketing tools, enabling business to showcase their brand personality and again, engage with their target audience. So that is all short videos and that's why I say that is the rising star of digital content. Now, as we talk about short videos, let's talk about what are the power of short videos? Like why exactly I call it as a uh, like digital rising star for digital content. So it's popularity. So short videos has experienced an extraordinary surge in popularity. So some recent statistics indicate that Short videos platforms now boast over 2 million active users. And along with that, the CAGR is great. Now it's captivating audiences. The power of short videos exactly lies in their ability to captivate audience within a limited time frame. Now, how exactly they do this? Their visually appealing and easily consumable nature make them an ideal medium for capturing audience interest. It's not talking about effective message delivery. Now, by condensing this entire information into this bite-sized content, they ensure that key messages are delivered swiftly and memorably. Now, talking about versatility of platform. So platforms like TikTok, Instagram, Reels, we all know about them, have revolutionized this way short videos are consumed and shared. Their widespread uses indicate their versatility and adaptability of short videos in meeting diverse audience preferences. Now talking about visual storytelling or narratives. Oh, sorry. So short videos exactly leverage the power of visual storytelling to create impactful narratives. Now, how exactly the creators do this thing? So with that limited time, they rely on captivating visuals, compelling story techniques, clever editing to engage viewers. So even if we all are thinking any day we want to create a community platform or want to create an application like TikTok, Instagram, Reel, this is something that we always have to think of. Now, like talking about business and marketing impact, now short videos have like helped a lot for the current digital marketers. Now, how exactly it helps? So the ability to generate the higher engagement rates and deliver key messages effectively make them an invaluable tool that we did not add traditionally. Now, it can be the future of content consumption. Now, it has a reason to it. So with this growing preference for quick and easy digestible content, short videos now offer an ideal solution to engage the Gen Z audience or the modern audience. Now, virality is obviously another factor. So the potential of going viral via social media amplifies the impact of short videos, now, increasing the brand exposure along with generating organic engagement. So these are some basic or you can say some high level eight uh, powerful impact that right now short videos are creating. Now, since we talked about that, how exactly it's powerful, let's talk about the industry trend. Like what is the current industry trend with short videos? 
so talking about cross platform integration now these short videos they seamlessly integrate across multiple social media platforms and we are seeing this thing now this cross platform integration only allows us for a broader reach like the number of, like will have a y y axis increase that is the it, it will maximize our engagement opportunities because we'll have multiple social media platforms now diverse content formats now what exactly is diverse content formats so the short videos they have introduced and sent as a wide range of content formats so something like tiktok challenges which have seen in last uh, like in past something like instagram reel trends that we see on day to day basis every day we see a new trend so that exactly creates a different kind of content formats the storytelling and narrative techniques so basically the content creators the ability the ability to convey a message or a story within that short span of time is the hallmark of successful short video so anyone who is a content creator right now among us and they want to create a good content so this is the major factor that makes your content viral or makes your content more engaged now creators exactly leverage this creative editing skills the visual effect and the quick storytelling to capture and hold viewer attention now talking about in entertainment and brand marketing how exactly this is being used now brand creates humorous relatable emotionally captivating content to connect with their audience on an emotional level this is all about personalization as in right now in instagram reels if we watch a particular content then within the next few minutes or few seconds we'll get reels based on that particular area or that particular genre the reason being they try to connect with us that particular platform now talking about influencer and brand marketing or brand collaboration and this has been growing a lot uh, we have seen right now that instagram has launched a subscription model on instagram on top of instagram in us and they are planning to like extend it to other regions also so right now in instagram if i want to watch someone's particular content then i have to pay money now by aligning with influencers no so what brands do is brand can effectively reach uh, their target market and build a credibility because again all those influencers all those content creators they have a base of their own so if we are launching a new platform and we are trying to collaborate with them then again we create a credibility of us in the mind of our target audience now talking about viral campaigns and challenges so this is again a quick trend that we are seeing that is by tapping into popular trends like popular songs or maybe a popular challenge uh, the platforms are engaging their audience creatively which actually generate a widespread awareness of the participation then talking about interactive and user generated content so how exactly they are doing this so by engaging viewers to contribute their content or opinion fosters a sense of community and boost engagement levels and we have recently seen this in thread so all the community building application and even if we plan to build a community a like community based application this is something that we have to do let people put up their opinion on our platform and let other people reply to it now here a lot of other features and such as user tagging such as hashtag such as comments uh, such as like share follow now education and tutorial content like recently i found this thing and it has exact like attracted a lot to me that uh, this is a very niche use case but again it's growing and the trend is good that is right now from cooking recipes to diy projects videos short videos make learning more accessible and engaging like gone those days when we used to for a particular diy project how to maybe how to make pasta we used to watch like a uh, 10 or 15 or 20 minutes video but right now we can see this thing in any instagram reel in like less than 5 second or less than 10 seconds and that is how the creators are creating the engagement in that particular platform now since we talked about the industry trend and some use cases where exactly we can do and if we are in certain industry and how exactly we should plan now we are talking about short videos short videos like why short videos we again have lot of traditional marketing tools we have long format videos we have avod then why exactly short content why not using all those traditional medium of marketing or uh, content consumption that we can use for better user engagement now some like according to me these are some eight basic uh, reasons or why the reason that why we should shift to a short videos and these are very 
uh, psychological thing that recently in the statistics and studies are seen. So first thing is the attention span. It get decrease in attention span. So all we know, we all are going through the same. That is, human attention span have decreased to few seconds now, making it essential to capture attention quickly. A long video formats is they can't do this thing, right? So it has to be short because again, we have very less time to watch something, and in that particular span of mind. I should be able to relate to that particular video. Now talking about concise and engaging. Now engaging audience is tough. We all know that. So short content, what they do is they deliver information concisely, keeping audience engaged throughout. Because the reason of personalization, that is, we can relate to the video that we see. Now talking about memorable impact. Now it leaves a long-lasting impression due to its focused and impactful nature of the video. Short, focused, and impactful. Now talking about higher engagement rate, like gone are those days. I say that uh, we used to have long format videos to engage customers or engage audience on our platform. Now short videos drive higher engagement rate compared to long video format, and it's a proved report. So now talking about better retention of inf uh, information again related to higher engagement rate. So audience retain information more effectively. When delivered through short content, our research, recent research, which I was going through, they say that uh, around the like the study they made, in that they found like the retention rate was thirty percent more in comparison to a short video and comparison to a long format video. Now talking about action oriented approach. Now what exactly it is? So when we uh, like in Instagram or any of the short video format that we see right now, so the platform know that what they should prompt to us. That is. It prompts the viewer to take that immediate action. Now that boosts the conversion rate and drive desired outcome. For example, you can take Netflix as an example. So they recently launched a uh, feature known as Fast Laugh. So earlier there was a drop rate of users uh, from navigation to content consumption. That is, uh, anyone who was landing into Netflix, they used to navigate through the platform. But they never used to watch that content. So Netflix found it as a big problem. So what they did was they created altogether a new feature known as Fast Laugh. So what exactly was Fast Laugh? So if Netflix has a maybe a two or three hours of a movie or a series, what they used to do is they used to take short clips out of it, funny, relatable short clips, and they used to put it on the uh, under a section known as Fast Laugh. So people used to watch it, and again, it had its immersive experience, edge to edge player, gesture. So there only they used to prompt after a user had watched, and it was again like five to ten seconds of video. So after it was ending, it was eight seconds. They used to prompt that want to watch this video. Now they had an entire user flow journey. So from the acquisition point of view, where I was just watching reels or I was just watching Netflix fast live short video content, the Netflix was able to take me to the content details page and was forcing me to watch that content. So It exactly prompts what exactly the CTA should be. Now, mobile-friendly consumption. Now, our entire world is right now mobile-first world. Uh, we have everyone right now has a mobile in their hand. So, the short video content it aligns with the mobile-first consumption habit of audience, ensuring that the accessibility and convenience is easy. Now, talking about social media compatibility, everyone of us are on social media right now. So, short videos are tailor-made for social media platforms. Cross sync. You can share YouTube videos on TikTok. You can share TikTok videos on YouTube. So their user prefers quick and shareable content, right? And increasing the reach and variability. So that is how why short videos are right now required in all of the industry trend that we discussed in the previous slide. Not talking about. Uh, so we talk a lot about more, like short videos, where to use, how to use, why to use. Not talking about. At movie, what we are doing towards the short video trend, right? So we offer you to leverage movie minis. So what is movie minis? So these are some few screenshots of movie minis, and after that, we'll see how this entire feature works. So movie minis is a solution designed to transform audience engagement through captivating short form videos. Within movie minis, you can effortlessly create immersive experience, boost user engagement, and amplify your content reach like never before. Now, how exactly we do this? So, as you can see, this is an H to H player. So, the H to H player, the seamless scroll gesture, provide an immersive and visually stunning interface that keeps user engaged and encourages them to explore more content. So, that is how the news is made.
Now, some basic four components of movie minis, uh, that is, you can explore the full potential of short content engagement. So as I said, you can create uh, captivating short videos, uh, either from a mobile phone or record it from some external device. And again, it empowers both admin and content creators. So since we are into streaming uh, right now with us, you can create an admin only platform, like an OTT platform, for example, like a Netflix fast lab, or else we want to build a community based platform like TikTok or Instagram reels. That is also something that is possible with movie minis right now, which is empowering both admins and content creators. Now, again, we have an immersive viewing experience that is it's an H2H player with all gesture, user engagement feature like like, comment, share, user tagging, hashtags. And the best part is content moderation. So as an admin, if you don't want any inappropriate content to go to your platform, that is something you can moderate being the admin of the platform, of the owner of the platform. Now, exactly you can do this is all you have to do is toggle a configuration. So any content creator or any partner uploading a short form video that will get parked at your CMS first. And if you only allow that, okay, I want this particular video to go to my platform, then only it will get uh, approved and it will go to that, go to your platform and other viewers or other creators can consume that particular content. Now I'll show you a short demo uh, of how exactly movie minis work. So right now, just give me one moment. I hope my screen is visible. So it's very simple. So if you can see uh, here, we have some. So this is our preview application known as Movie Onyx. Uh, all you have, if you want to use Movie Onyx, all you have to do is it's available on Play Store and App Store. Just have to download it uh, in your initial screen. Just give your CMS credential, and you'll be able to control this preview application in real time. So just some few of the minis that has been already uploaded. Let's watch them. Just give me one minute. Really sorry. Uh, so I have a bit of latency because of visor. I have casted my screen. So this is how it works. Now talking about uploading a particular mini. So I'll get back to my home screen. So this is my home screen. Now. I'll click on plus. So if you can see this particular thing that is used to trigger the mini's uploading flow. So it will ask me so to browse the video. I'll click on browse video. It will take me to my finder, as in my mobile's finder, to see which video exactly I want to choose. So let me choose this one. Okay. Now I can either play the video from here to see that what exactly is the video. And then I can choose. So when I choose the video, As you can see, I have a trimmer here. It can act as an editing tool. It can choose which section I want. And then just, I'm, I'm really sorry about the latency. Yeah, so you can see the trim thing. Then I'll click on next. Now I'll add a title to it.
I've, I've, here I've like I have already filled my details. So you will see a content form like we see in TikTok or Instagram reel that we add a title to the particular video. And again, you don't need to upload the particular the poster for this uh, reel. Uh, we again the the image spread we generate one and that act as your cover image for your video. And we ask you to add a title in description. You can use hashtags and use the tagging. And the categories, all the categories that has been created by your platform. If you don't have, then we won't show categories. So that is how the entire business logic of the screen has been written. And once I've added my title category, Upload. Post this, uh, your video will get uploaded to the file and you can consume it the way we were seeing it. So, as I said, uh, we had a surprise for you at the end. So, the surprise is simple you have your application in your hand if you have built it. Uh, now, just try out minis and boost your engage, uh, like user engagement with the short video format. Now over to you, Shivashi. Uh, the forum is open for any questions or suggestions you have. Uh... Thank you, Siddharth. It was a very interesting presentation. Uh, before we move on to the QA, I would request the audience to take a moment and answer our quick poll, which should be coming onto your screens now. If you can't see the poll, click on the poll icon at the bottom of your screen and a window will surely pop up. So uh, coming back to the QA, uh, Mr. Dickens uh, says good evening. I hope that we will get this presentation sent to our mails. Uh, yes, Mr. Dickens, uh, all those who have registered and for the webinar, uh, we'll send them a copy of the webinar to their emails. Also, uh, this webinar is being streamed live and it will also be available on our social media platforms like LinkedIn. The next question is by Paul Goggin. Uh, he wants to know that the shared movie platform had a 30 second minimum time limit on videos to measure activity. Has this changed with the introduction of movie minis? And can you now track engagement on shorter videos on the shared platform? Right. Um, can you just repeat the name, uh, Shivashi Shons? And uh, the question. So uh, this question comes from Paul. Uh, he wants to know that the shared movie platform had a 30 second premium a uh, minimum time limit on videos to measure activity. Has this changed with the introduction of movie minis? Can you now track engagement on shorter videos on shared platform? Right, easily, easily, Paul. Uh, so the current analytics framework that we have built, you can easily track the, the analytics of any short form of video, like 10, 15 seconds, you can easily track on top of movie with the new analytics framework. Okay, thank you. I, I, I hope I have answered your question, Paul. Okay, thank you, Siddharth. Uh, we have another question coming from Jobin. Uh, he wants to know that, in your opinion, what are the key challenges or obstacles businesses may face when incorporating short video into their marketing strategies? And how can they possibly overcome these challenges? Okay, so the answer is very clear. So like like uh, whenever we try to use something new from our traditional methods so it is a challenge for us right? and the major point or the major problem with short videos are 
the creative eye for it how we plan for it what is the content creation is going to be what is the content type going to be so that is something that we need to have a clear idea and again there is no allocation for it and again we have to look from an roi point of view now how to overcome is have a great and clear strategy such as we need to have a great content calendar in content calendar you need to plan that what exactly the conceptualization behind a particular content and again then you have multiple tools such as uh editing tools such as having a great storytelling and all those things if you have a clear goal at the end of the day what exactly you want to want to achieve with this particular content then obviously you can like leverage a lot with social media like the short video form in any of your marketing activities i hope this answers your question jobin uh we have another question coming from shreyash he wants to know that how can businesses effectively measure the success and roi of their short video campaigns and what metrics and analytics should they exactly focus on okay. so few analytics that sure you should obviously look at a view count so if you create a particular video what are your number of views to that so that gives you whether your particular content that you have created people are exactly liking it or not then the second is your engagement metrics so i define engagement metrics into like comment uh, then follow unfollow dislike so these are certain things that going to tell you that whether people are getting engaged to your video it's not about people liking your video it's about engagement so you have more comments or not whether people are liking your video or not how many dislikes you're getting for your video then talking about ctr that is click through rate so in your particular video you will obviously as i said that you need to have an action so whether the action that you prompt to the user whether people are clicking to that because that is something that's going to define your roi that is written on your investment then a conversion ratio that is what is your conversion rate that people are onboarding to your platform they're watching your particular like the short content whether they are getting converted to your final goal in your user funnel or not then is a retention rate so this you can measure by your dous and mus that is your daily active users and your monthly active users so with that you can obviously know that uh, whether people are getting stick to your platform or not and then is roi so you have to measure the cost of production that you have given whether you are getting a return on the investment that you have put up front or not uh thanks i um, hope yeah you continue with that sorry no no that, that's it that's it shivashi so these are some few metrics that i can think of right now uh that we can obviously use okay so uh we have another question coming from kevin smith uh he wants to know that is there a way to overlay a qr code or link over a video for sponsored advertising and what other creative ways are current users of movie minis monetizing their work with sponsors or advertisers so right now uh, we are not much into avod but again you can do this thing can so you can have, so your video can content and qr code and you can have sponsored thing uh you can uh, like you can make it ppvs so people can uh, people have to pay to watch your short form content or else you can have a subscription flow from that particular video and again you have avod so you can add a uh, throat like you can add advertisement to that and then is about brand collaboration like if your particular platform has a good uh, you can say a good uh, mass or a good tam on your particular platform so you can collaborate with brand to have the video sponsored on top of your video so that is how some basic ways you can monetize a video on top of movie minis thanks for that uh, i can see tashi is raising hand so uh, i would request you to please post your question on the q and a box so that siddharth can answer it uh, the next question is uh, uh, again it's from kevin smith and he uh, siddharth uh, i think your audio is a little bit scratchy so if you can uh okay so like right now kevin can you hear me just let us know like if you can hear me i can i can i'll reiterate no worries and uh, there's another question from kevin to uh, to add on to the previous question uh, like is there any way for the viewers to comment on the videos or like follow and share okay so kevin uh, answering to you like i hope that you can hear me now clearly so answering to your question so the second part again it's possible uh people can comment on your videos people can like your videos people can follow that particular content creator and talking about your previous question that you asked about how exactly you can monetize your video so the qr thing that's a great idea and again it's possible in your video itself you can have a qr code which you can use as a sponsored ad along with that 
you can integrate add to your video that is also possible with movie meanings and brand collaboration you can always have uh, so if you have a good dau or an mau on your platform you can collaborate with brands in your reason so that uh, again it can have a revenue source for you uh, and along with that you can monetize those videos such as you can have a subscription flow all together from pp like those uh, short videos along with that you can implement ppv on top of movie minis so to watch a, so just imagine something like in comedy central so where uh, for a particular short videos uh, somebody has to pay in 1 dollar or some cents to watch that video so i hope i was clear and uh, i have answered your question uh we have another question coming from paul uh he says uh that are movie minis an add on for movie one or part or it is a part of the platform now you know it's an add on on movie one so it's an extension on top of movie one uh it's available under content settings so and you have to enable it to like you have to take an add on system, like an add on for that particular feature to use it on top of movie one okay thank you siddharth uh we have a question coming from tashi uh she wants to know that uh how to get an audience participate into your video and how can your video go worldwide without sponsoring okay so the first thing is uh, it's about uh, virality so the videos the minis videos that we'll have on your platform you can use our share feature the share module that we have uh, to share it across all those social media channels that we have right now so that will create a virality along with that it totally depends on how good is your content uh, so that will create the chain reaction for you tashi uh this is another question coming uh, this one is again coming from jobin uh, can you share some examples of businesses or brands that have effectively leveraged short video to engage their target audience and exactly what strategy do, did they employ okay so uh, i can right now i can uh, i can remind up to like three particular use cases that i know so one is chitol so that's a fast restaurant chain uh, a mexico based chain so they were doing very bad in the business and when tiktok rise no so what they did was they collaborated with lot of influencers and that gave them a good hype in the market and they got a good revenue out of it and these collaboration for them helped a lot so they what they used to do they used to create it, like they used to create short videos of their food of their recipes and that drive user to their particular chains right and the second one is netflix fast lab i have already given you a very detailed uh, explanation about netflix fast lab and the other one i don't exactly remember the name right now but there's a gym a uh, shark gym i guess uh, so what they used to do was they were into fitness and training modules right so what they did was they collaborated with lot of influencers they used instagram and tiktok like tiktok uh, for us to tell people that what is the benefit of physical health or mental health and that help people getting down to their physical uh, physical gyms taking subscription and again you can see right now lot of d2c platforms are getting into these short form videos because again the way they can convey the message to their end users or make them relate to their particular platform the story short videos play a great role in that okay thank you i hope this answers your question and this concludes our session for today thank you siddharth for joining us in this wonderful presentation thank, and thank you ashish to all our audiences out there movie keeps conducting such webinars each month on interesting industry topics and also to showcase some of movie's best offerings i would personally request all our viewers to keep a look out for our social media channels and the website for the registration link for the upcoming webinars and as a small token of appreciation we would like to give out an informative brochure to view later on how to launch your very own short video app instantly with movie mini and for the next webinar you can uh kevin smith has another question uh, popping up i believe we can take this one siddharth yes yes sure sure ha so kevin wants to know that can you show how the short format videos look to a viewer uh okay just just allow me 5 minutes i'm i'm sharing my screen okay 
so this particular video has been uploaded so i'll, I'll play the video so the issue is with visor so, so i played a video so if you can see this is how the video will look like so here i have a mute and unmute option for me and i can so this is the creator's name that you'll have then again you can see the creator's profile and then you'll have a description so it's a short description that's why you can see what again on clicking it it will expand it will come down to this position and you can see the entire video and the scroll gesture which so this is my upload section so under my upload section kevin you can see all those video that has been uploaded by you and for this webinar i have disabled this content moderation feature from us so that's the reason everything is looking approved here now if i talk about the scroll gesture get back to the home screen So in home screen, as you can see, there's a feature section known as minis. So I'll click on one of my videos. So as an end user right now, I'm consuming it. It's not from my, my upload screen. So if you log in into this particular platform or this particular application, you'll be able to see this thing. So just give me one minute. The video will start. Okay. So this is how. Now I can scroll it. As you can see, I've scrolled the video. Now, again, I know that the gesture looks a bit uh, laggy here, but it's just because of the screen has been casted. But if you see the real-time application, as I said, you can create your own application or use Movie Onyx and try out this feature. Uh, I'd love to hear any feedback on this particular solution of us. I guess uh, uh, I have answered your question, Kevin. Okay. Thank you, Siddharth, uh, for this uh, demo again. And uh, so this concludes our session for today. And as a tall, small token of appreciation, uh, we have attached a informative brochure on how to launch your very own short video app instantly using Movie Mini, which should be there on your comments section now. For the next webinar, uh, you can join us on 16th of August, 2023, where Bibin will discuss about Movie Player and the ultimate SDK packages for video players and how it can supercharge your web, mobile, and TV applications. So tune in the registration link. You can find it on our websites. And till then, have a great day, everyone. Thank you very much for joining the webinar.